Hello, second graders. We, today we're going to be starting a new scholastic news. We're going to be doing the issue called the butterflies are back. So let's go ahead and open this up. And before we look at the video today, let's take a look at some questions that we should be able to answer by the time we're finished with the video. By the time we finish the video, we should be able to answer, why do caterpillars have to eat so much as soon as they hatch? What happened inside a chrysalis? What is the first step in the butterfly's life cycle? And be able to draw a picture of the first step in a butterfly's life cycle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video. See if you can link any of the information in the video to information you already know. The life of a butterfly. This is a butterfly. It flutters from flower to flower, drinking the sweet nectar inside. You can see its big, beautiful wings. But it didn't always look this way. It started inside a teeny tiny egg. A female butterfly had laid that egg on a leaf. After four days, the egg hatched. A little caterpillar crawled out. It was so hungry. It ate and ate and ate. Here is the caterpillar two weeks later. You can see it got a lot bigger. All those plants it was eating really helped it to grow. But it still needed to eat more. When it was done eating, its skin hardened. It changed into a chrysalis and hung from the stem of a plant. Inside, it was turning into an adult. Its body had totally changed. It had big, wet wings. Its wings dried in the warm sun. At last, it was a beautiful butterfly. Wasn't this metamorphosis amazing? A metamorphosis is the series of changes some animals, like butterflies, go through as they grow from a tiny creature inside an egg to an adult. Moths go through a metamorphosis too, but a moth caterpillar spins a cocoon around itself instead of changing into a chrysalis. So the next time you see a butterfly flutter by, remember all the changes it went through to get that. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the vocabulary words that we're going to be seeing in this section. Migrated, moved from one home to another. Many animals migrate in the fall, including birds. Let's make a real life connection. Um, have you ever noticed big flocks of birds flying south for the winter? Um, growing up in Western Pennsylvania, we would always see different Canadian geese that would migrate south um, over the winter. Other birds that we would notice would be um, robins, and we would also know that spring was on its way as soon as we saw a robin redbreast in our backyard, so it migrated back. South, the downward point on a compass. Places in the south are usually warmer than places in the north. Hmm, I wonder, why is places in the south warmer than places in the north? North, the upward point on a compass. Places in the north are usually colder than places in the south. 
making a text to self-connection. Now I understand. When I lived in Pennsylvania, um, it tended to get colder than where I live now in North Carolina. North Carolina is considered a southern state, and the southern state is warmer. Pennsylvania was up north, and it tend to be colder. Caterpillars. Caterpillars hatch from eggs. Then they change into moths or butterflies. Can you think of other animals that hatch eggs instead of um, how humans, whenever they have offspring or babies, they just deliver the whole baby, but other animals um, hatch eggs. Can you think of other animals that hatch eggs? Metamorphosis. The series of changes some animals go through as they develop from eggs to adults. So here we have a series going from egg to tadpole, and I cannot remember what this stage is called, but then we have our adult frog. Can you think of other animals that have a life cycle that they don't look the same when they are born as they do as an adult? Let's go and fill out our video worksheet. If you have this at home, go ahead and fill this out with me. If not, you can write down your answers on a tablet paper. Question one says, why do caterpillars have to eat so much as they hatch? Did you see in the video that the, what was the first thing the caterpillar ate after it was born? Yes, it ate its own egg shell. I was going to say, do other animals do that too? Hmm, I wonder. So why do they have to eat so much as they hatch? So let's restate the question. They have to eat so much because... Is it because they have to double in size? Hmm, not sure. What I can do is I can go back and watch the video again, or I can try to look at the pictures in other places to see why. Hey, going back, we found out they need to eat so much because they need to grow. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in there. They need to eat so much so they can grow, period. Okay, let's look at number two. What happens inside a chrysalis? So we're gonna restate the question inside the chrysalis. So what happens? Hmm, thinking back, I could see it in my head. It's not a cocoon, they said, but sometimes people say that it's a cocoon. So inside chrysalis, oh, that's where the butterfly starts, or that's where the caterpillar starts to turn into the butterfly. So inside the chrysalis, a butterfly is, or I should say a caterpillar, is, is changing. into a butterfly. Okay, number three. What 
is the first step in a butterfly's life cycle? Restate the question. The first step in a butterfly's life cycle. Notice how I put apostrophe S because I'm showing possession of the life cycle. It's not the frog, it's the butterflies. So the first step in a butterfly's life cycle is an egg. There we go. All right. And so knowing that that is the first step in the life cycle for number four, it says draw a picture of the first step in the butterfly's life cycle. So in this box, you're going to draw probably like a leaf and draw a little, it was almost like clear or white egg that the caterpillar was inside. So, all right. So um, this is what you needed to work on for today. Tomorrow, be ready to read the Scholastic News with me and answer the read and think questions. Have a great day.